I'm going to tell you a little something about me when I was 20 years old, 19 or 20. I was out one night at a nightclub. And I specifically went there looking for some action. This fine brother. We get to talking and I'm thinking, ooh, wee doggy, yeah, I like this. And he tells me that they're getting ready to have a party after hours. Listen to this, because this is a common game that goes down. They're going to have after hours. So when the club closes, he's gonna, he wants me to wait for him. And then I hop in the car with him, and we're going to party all night. The crowd's going to move over to his house and continue the night. Till the sun comes up. We're going to dance the night away, right? Sure. Sure we are. Uh huh. Excuse me. We get over to Brother Man's house. And I'm the only guest. Now, the first thing starts coming to my mind is one of those little sit-down chats that my father had with me. Where he said, he told me now, if you meet a guy and he tells you that after the nightclub they're going to have a party, you make sure other people are going. Because if you're the only guest, things can happen that you don't like. Dum dee dee dum dum. Oh, my father's always so suspicious. Uh -huh. And guess what happened that night? He had everything all locked up so I couldn't get out. And I went in the kitchen and got one of his knives and pulled it on him. Told him unlock that door and let me out. Well, he had a little something up on me and he pulled a gun on me. <laughs> and that night, I had to lay down and be raped in order to get out in one piece. And he said, move, move. I said, I ain't in this. You just do your thing and get it over with. I ain't even in it. Screw yourself. And I had to lay there and take that stupidity that I walked myself into because I was all enticed and allured and I was I was tempted and, and everything just seemed like ooh yeah that man wasn't about nothing he was all looks and no heart no soul no nothing think about that the stupid stuff we get ourselves in I could have been dead that night he could have pulled that gun and on me, and he could have mistakenly pulled the trigger, and I could have been dead that night. We don't realize the chances we take with our lives. Once I got the heck out of there when he went to sleep, then I had to hitchhike my way home. You guys don't realize. You think because you're young, and you're cute, and you got it going on, Ain't nobody going to pull no mess like that on you. Oh, there's some stuff out there people can pull. You find yourself in another country, forced and beaten to, to sell your behind. And you don't even get to keep any money. Sex slavery. There's a lot of stuff going on out there, you guys. You think you're too slick. But there's always one slicker than you, baby. Always one up on you. But you just keep on playing. I'm saying this to warn you, and I really hope you take heed. Think of where you would like your life to really end up. Shoot for the stars. Don't grovel on the ground. How do you expect to fly and soar with the eagles when you're down on the ground groveling with turkeys? How do you expect anything? Please, reach. Reach up. Change your, your height, change your sights, change your, your aspirations, reach for something that me, that's meaningful. 
Don't die in a cesspool of nonsense. What's that about?